right, new adventure today. Um, this is a camp that I've uh, hunted over the years and friends have hunted and other people have hunted. Um, but, you know, every year new things can happen on a river like this. So I have ridden in my little chig rig for three and a half hours to get here. And I got about two hours to hunt before we have to head back because I got kind of a late start and I had a problem with the motor. It's always something. Anyway, this place has changed a lot. Got my first signal, so I figured I'll try to at least make a video, although I don't have a lot of time. They will have enough to make, um, well, that you can have a little adventure too. Trust me, I've had an adventure already today. Can't believe it. Gosh, okay. It's like, yeah, okay, let's get to digging. I had a little squeaker, but I can't find it again, but I got a big piece of iron here we're gonna dig, because this is a nice camp, so. It's not a uh, artillery shell sound, but it could be something. It's probably a horseshoe, because there's quite a few horseshoes here. Let's go ahead and grab it with the pick. Got my foot on it, so hopefully, be able to find it again. There we go. Bump around a little bit. Not feeling it. Ah, here we go. It's over here. <laughs> Boy, that's a heavy one. That could be something good. No, it's loose. No, it's not loose. Hey, let's go in there and take a look at it. I'll put the pick on it. And uh, let's go look at it together. All right, let's do it. Well, that's a really cool chain. It's probably from the camp. Got several of those eye rings on them. I'm gonna definitely keep that. We'll throw it in the boat. And uh, maybe the next one will be a bayonet or a gun. Got another nice big iron signal here. We're definitely uh, gonna dig all the iron in here. The big iron. There we go. I think there's a couple of things down there. So let's go take a look together. See what we can see. All right. Ready? Well, this is really interesting. That's a uh, that's a big spring, I think, off of a wagon, probably. What really interests me is that I would never have left this laying there. So this has been recently exposed. We might find some stuff today. Just go along and let you hear it for a minute. Those trees, were, they weren't uh, knocked over like that, so it's kind of cut a little channel out here in the middle. I know we'll, we'll find a few things today. That's gonna be something there, I think. a piece of barbed wire that's probably all those little clicks i'm hearing let's wait until we get a good signal before i get you out again nice solid signal all right we have our first squeaker it's only reading well it's kind of varying but 40s 50s probably not a bullet but it could be something interesting i haven't been under yet we're going to do it together hold on while i get my mask situated in default <laughs> That's not going to work uh, where it's deep like this. I'm going to have to put you away. Uh, we'll go up here against the bank where it's shallow. I'll get you back out again, but um, I'll have to go down there and fan it because it's hard to stay on the bottom of the current when it's that deep. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be back. I'll get right back with you. So what I'm going to do is take the boat and kind of shove it back in that little gap right there because that's kind of what's pulling me downstream. 
and we'll hunt over here. I got the, my first good squeaker in my fingers. It's either a button or a coin. I'm not sure which. I haven't looked at it yet. I thought we'd do that together. Uh, that's going to be a little flat button, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There's a broken shank, you know, with a um, thread would have gone through. It's broken off. You can see some writing on it. That's going to be the makers, probably. All right, first squeaker of the day. Let's put you away. Put the boat over here, and then we'll go rogue and just walk around. I think we'll do a lot better. Oh, look at that. This has definitely changed a lot since I was here. Like I said, all these trees, um, are that's all new stuff. That's probably, that could be tempers from the camp even. All right, let me uh, go ahead and put the boat away and then we'll uh, start talking. Start talking, <laughs> you know what I mean. This has definitely all been eaten back since I was last here. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're definitely getting the metal detector to get up in there. Well, let's just go ahead and do that now. These boards, um, they look like boards. That could be from the camp. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Look at these big trees, how they got you know, washed into the bank and then covered over with silt. So these have probably been uh, here since, see this is a cut board. So, that is, um, you know, this silt was put probably put down after the war, after the mid 1800s. Let's go over into here and work, work our way up. Hope we don't get snagged and drowned in here though. Oh yeah, that stinks. Raccoon. Yeah, um, let's go over here too. Let me see. Uh, that's a fish nest right there. It's kind of hard to see because I just muddied it up, but that might be lead over in here. We don't want to dig in a fish, uh, not fish nest. It's probably not being used anyway anymore. Yeah, this is interesting, but this is going to be all silted. We'll try that little pocket right there. Try this in here. This might have been, you see this is all fresh. That's a beaver slide. Where beaver's been coming in and out. That's all built up though. That's, you know, four foot of sand over what we used to hunt and detect right there. I can see he's got corn. So there's corn field up there. The beaver like to eat corn for some reason. I guess it's because it's delicious. Right. We dug our first bullet. This is a Burnside carbine bullet. This is, uh, to, well, to a Burnside carbine. <laughs> This is a Yankee bullet. It's Burnside carbine and it's dropped. So that's pretty cool. Right in front of this area here. Um, it's really grody and you can't see anything. So as soon as we get out there, we'll go into water together. This is a chirpy little squeaker right here. Uh, that's going to be something good. I can tell. Let's go under together. What do you say? You can see the mini ball is white, so we know that came out of the bank uh, behind us later in its life. If it had been in the water the whole time, it would be more gray like that one right there. But that's a modern one. A modern bullet and a Civil War bullet, practically the same hole. 
Have another nice high squeaker right here. Oh yeah. That sounds like a good one. Now this is a Sharps bullet, and I believe it's fired, but if you notice, it's got a little green on it. That tells me that it was exposed to the sunlight underwater for a while, and that's algae growing on it. So I don't know if it could do that in just this season, you know, this summer, or if that was been, yeah, it had to have. Now, I didn't come here last year. I don't think I did anyway. I think, you know, doing that show, I think it was way all summer, but... Uh, yeah, bullets everywhere. <laughs> this is awesome, man. All right, we got some good squeakers here, too. Uh, that's where we found the uh, sharps right back there, but right here's one. That, that reads a little too high for a bullet. Then I heard some squeaks over here. There's some I might be iron. I think there's something mixed in, though. You see all that wood right in there? I think that could be old wood. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, say so there's something good right there underneath that little uh, stump, and then there's a piece of iron out in front of us. Let's get this one first. That just sounds, oh, that just sounds so good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. if you're thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> it looks just like the bullet I just found. That's another Sharps with some green on it. So let me check my pocket and see if I still have the other one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a fresh one. <laughs> I thought maybe it fell out of my pocket. I wasn't putting it in my dig digging bag. See, I still have those three. I'm going to throw it over there in the uh, little, uh, I guess that's a cake pan on the kayak. As soon as I look at my phone hopefully that's not my wife calling I call a bunch of times in a row but it's probably a telemarketer that's the only people that call me so <laughs> so i just found this cool little horseshoe <laughs> look how wide it is back there huh? on the bottom or the top or the bottom uh, but i have a good signal right here unfortunately it's really muddy but we're going to go ahead and dig it together yeah right underneath that little stick I suspect it's going to be a bullet. What do you think? All right, put this up here for now. I'll throw that in the boat in a minute. Right, right here. Back just a little bit, maybe. Watch it. Oh no, no, good. That's good. <laughs> you know what that is? When I first saw it, I thought it was like some weird plastic shotgun shell, but I can tell it's a Spencer casing, uh, which would go to one of those bullets we found. Pretty cool, huh? Look how green. That's a pretty green. Emerald green. Yep, sure enough. That is a casing. Let me go grab, let's go look at the bullet real quick. So there's the Spencer casing right here, okay? And this is the bullet. No, we don't have a Spencer yet, do we? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a Spencer, actually, right there, yeah. So this bullet would have gone to this casing in there just like that. And that was self-contained, and, the, and the, the weapon, the gun, held seven rounds, so they could load it really fast and shoot it really fast. And uh, this is a muzzle loader that they had to load down through the muzzle, and that took a lot longer to load and fire. And, uh, yeah, so that's what that is. You notice it's a rim fire? What that means is the firing pin has to hit it on the rim, the rim of this casing, to make it go off. So the fulminate of mercury, or the primer, to make the gunpowder go off is located in this rim. You can see where the firing pin hit it right here and made it go off. So you know that it was actually fired and not just dropped. Pretty color, huh? Wow. <laughs> Let's get back I wanted, to I wanted to show you this little piece of pottery that I found. That's uh, that's really old stuff right there. Feather Edge. 
And I see, I think this is a bone right here. It's probably, ooh, actually it's not that old a bone. <laughs> That's probably a deer bone. We have a nice squeaker right in here. Take my headphones off so you can hear it. Right in here. Yeah, there it is. Um, there's some other signals, lots of iron. There might be something good there. And I wanted to show you this layer. This is a layer of uh, organic stuff, leaves and whatnot, that have actually come down over the Civil War stuff. I think that's just kind of interesting. Yeah, that was put down after the Civil War. Let's go ahead and dig this one, because that one sounds really good. talk about the leaves being over the Civil War stuff and this isn't even Civil War. <laughs> this is a bullet, a mod what we would call I call a modern bullet. You know, fired from a modern rifle. Copper jacketed, lead core. That could be nineteen early nineteen hundreds right up to present. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and dig around some of these uh, in this leaves right here just to see what this stuff is. And uh, I'll get you back out. If it... Another nice little signal right here. Well, maybe down here just a little bit more. I'm not gonna put you under because it's pretty grody looking. All right, we got our. <gasps> it's a bullet. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a gardener. No, it's an Enfield. I think they might have cut the ends there. Look at that. Yeah, this is a uh, this is an Enfield bullet, typically used by the Confederates during the war. Although the Yankees did use some, um, but yeah, pretty nice, huh? I like it. Well, I see a horseshoe down here, which is pretty cool. Well, no horse attached to it, and we're getting to the end of where we can detect because it's getting really sandy and silty. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. That is one big heavy horseshoe right there. Nice. I can see if somebody's, I guess that's a net or something right there. And uh, not getting too many more signals, but ah, some, that looks like an old muskrat hole going up in the bank. It's washed away. But we'll look around here a little bit more and then we're going to turn around and go back down and get it in the deeper water and come back up and then we'll be done. That's what that little muskrat hole was I just talked to you about and I found the horseshoe right there. Got a couple signals here piece of iron but next to it is something different so let's go ahead and dig that together maybe grab that iron while we're here you ready <gasps> because when I fanned it you notice the signal disappeared so I knew it was something light and I figured it was a pull tab but that green color that's not a pull tab that's a button right there and I'm going to make a guess and say it's a Virginia button Confederate Virginia state seal although it could be North Carolina because we have on those here too all right you ready let's go grab it Actually, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I couldn't see it under the water. You see that? That is an A. 
which stands for artillery. That is a Confederate artillery button. <laughs> That's pretty sweet right there. Probably, uh, you can see it's got the shank on the back. I just saw it, but that stuff there might be, it might be a tin back, what they call a tin back, which is an iron back. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to clean it up too much. By the way, that's a really good find. Uh, you don't find that many Confederate buttons. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you can see it's a bullet. It looks like a piece of lead up on the bank. I wonder if that is. Yep, a piece of lead up there too. So stuff is coming down out of this little washout right here. That's a nice Civil War bullet. That's another Enfield. That's a beauty right there. And some melted lead. This is probably from a campfire where they... Was that an A? <laughs> looks, looks like an A right there. Probably not. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So let's look around here a little bit more, huh? What do you say? You see there's a fence post right there. But I have a nice little thumper. Right there. So that's probably a bullet. No, I think we can see it. Can you? Can you see it? Yeah, so at least a piece of a bullet. That is an interesting one, and I'm going to teach you something if you don't already know. Now, they look a lot like musket balls, and they can be musket balls. Sometimes they use musket balls in minis. But see that hole right there? That's where they, it's a long process. But basically, what that tells me is this was inside a cannonball, and that's where a drill went down through it when they drilled it drilled a hole into it to put the gunpowder in it's you know, kind of a long process i can explain it to you if you want to know how they did that but when they made case shot uh cannonball that's how they did it so that's actually a drill hole right there <laughs> pretty cool well guys we're going to have to call it a day the sun's getting low and uh, we'll be lucky to make it back before dark but look what i just found two guns <laughs> move locations to check out a spot and I just found two guns. Hope they weren't used in murders. They're BB guns. I don't know why so many took them in, but I guess the kids are bad. I don't think they'll ever fire again, though. <laughs> what do you think? Ugh. That's a keeper. Put her on a wall. All right, guys. I'm taking off. I got to run. I got... Uh, Took me four hours to get here and i got mm, probably an hour and less than an hour and a half to get back we can probably do it because it's all downhill <laughs> i'll let you know Take the 